broke me back, pot pickers. We're about to harvest a container of potatoes. This is a 30 litre container. Oh, that's a good sign. There's a bulge in the container there. Hopefully that's a potato. This is con container Q. I don't know what they are, but we'll worry about that later. But I will put the name up on the screen. But you know the rules. When you, when you harvest your potatoes, first things first, you've got to put on your bondage gloves. Happy days. So let's pull a few of these weeds out. At the top. Some of the stalks. One on the top, but that's a bit dodgy, so I'm going to throw that one over there. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go again. Oh, everyone's a winner. Isn't that a hot chocolate? So, everyone's a winner, baby. It's hot chocolate, isn't it? Nice one. These are either, uh, are they Charlotte, Pentland Javelin, look, look, right before your very eyes, it's just like magic, could it be magic, come, come, beautiful, right let me start putting some of this compost in there, Right, so what we've got to do sooner rather than later is make some room in the polytunnel and transfer all these containers of potatoes into the polytunnel for protection from the frosts. Because last year we all lost a load of potatoes, didn't we? Because we left our potatoes out and we had that terrible frost. Went down to minus 10, killed, nearly killed everything. Lovely. So, and also, something else I've got to do, which I haven't done yet, oh, is put some of these little potatoes aside, not too small. Put some of these potatoes aside to save for next year, for next year's sea potato. Because now I know what potatoes I want. Yeah and what potatoes I like, and more importantly, what potatoes I don't like and don't want. I'm hoping now to be able to save as many as my own sea potatoes as possible. Just when you think you pick them all. I never get I never get sick and tired of picking potatoes. It's just like it's just like magic. Right, let me run my fingers through it, yeah? Because tonight I'm going to cook a roast chicken. Well, just a roast chicken crown, actually. It's not a whole chicken. I'm going to cook a roast chicken crown. And I'm going to have some uh, boiled and roast potatoes, I think. Back in 
go in there. Voila, job done. So give these a little shake. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you vegetastic people, you crazy diamonds, scattered globally. Potatoes, how they should be. If, I say this every time, if there's any, if there's any proof, or if there's any doubt about is it worth growing potatoes in containers, I think you'll find the answers yes see how easy it is to harvest them yeah and then that container there is ready to be planted up again for next season just leave that compost in there add a bit of fish blood and bone job done so let me go and swill these off and we'll see what they look like happy days Fantastic. As I said before, said many a times, it's the best way to grow your potatoes in 30 litre containers. Happy days. Mwah. Can't wait to eat them. <laughs> <laughs>